All right, hey guys, this is Josiah again. Just wanted to do a video on how to install an indicator or a scanner in Thinkorswim. I've had some questions about this. Some people are uh, unaware how to use the shared links and uh, where to go to put all this into um, their Thinkorswim installation. So I wanted to do a video to kind of explain that. So here I am in uh, the scan tab in Stock Hacker. And I have this custom scan set up. And so if I were to share this, um, anyone can share their own work on um, Thinkorswim sharing platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this and get a custom link that Thinkorswim generates right here. And it's automatically copied into my clipboard. And so if I were to want, if, if, if I just bought this scanner, for instance, or if one of my friends shared it with me, how I would install that is to go up here to setup and go to uh, open shared item right here and I paste in that link that uh, my friend gave me or whoever I bought this uh, scanner from uh, provided for me click preview and it tells me the name that they gave it which was automatically generated a moment ago and then I click open and it says this scan query has been saved as from Swim Decaters on November 9th. So it basically just gives it an automatic name. So I can rename it. I'll name it Hello World just as a test uh, name so I'll be able to find it. And so here's the scan right here. So I can go ahead and close this. This is just showing me what it looks like. Now what I can do up here is go to this menu here, load scan query and I can go to, uh, where are we here, H, which is uh, Hello World right here uh, in the H's, and click that, and it'll go ahead and load it up here. So you see up here it says Hello World. I'm scanning all stocks, and these are the criteria. And so that's how you import a custom scan that someone has shared with you into Thinkorswim. <clears throat> Now, the same proce process can be used to um, uh, import an indicator. So um, I'm going to go into studies here, and I'll just, uh, I have a few different indicators on here. And say I want to um, say I want to share an indicator here. Uh, or, or someone's sharing it with you. So anyway, I go ahead and get this link here that it's providing. And so what I can do now, I have this link copied into my clipboard. Maybe you've you know gotten this link in your email or something or from whoever you bought it from. So if you bought an indicator or if someone shared it with you, uh, then you just go up here to setup. Once again, open shared item, paste in the uh, link, hit preview, shows you the name of it here make, so you can make sure you know exactly what you're opening and then you click open and it says this has been saved as from Swimicators on uh, November 9th and so I can rename that as test1 and click OK and now when I click on the studies menu here I can go test1 double click on it and it automatically is added here as a lower study click apply and it shows up down here at the bottom it's basically just another copy of this uh, uh, particular indicator right here. Uh, I'm just using that as an example. So I can go ahead and remove that and delete this out of here. But that shows you how to um, import an indicator from one of these shared links that uh, Thinkorswim now provides for us uh, to you know, move indicators and studies and everything around a lot easier. It's a really great system that they've provided. I, I really uh, am glad that they do that so we don't have to use uh, mess with code so much. But if you were to use code, um, one thing you can do here, if, if say you've been provided a code file, um, let's see, I'll just go ahead and open uh, my text edit here. And um, you know what, I'll just save a copy of this as gap up level copy uh, study.ts and I'll save that to my desktop. Now, um, Thinkorswim studies are saved with this 
um, this suffix. It always ends in study.ts, whatever the name is, study.ts. And so if you were to uh, receive one of these files from someone, you can just go to import here in this studies menu, go to wherever you have it saved, gap up, gap up level study.ts, and click open. And then gap up level shows up here. Now that's actually not an indicator, so I just want to go ahead and delete that. But, um, but that shows you how to use the import function to import an actual text file with the code in it. Um, another way to do it is to actually click new and then just paste in the code here, whatever code is being provided. Maybe they've provided it in a text file or just directly in an email. And you can just click uh, new study paste it in here, give it a name, and click OK. And I'll just name this JR Test. Click OK, and it's added up here. And then I click Apply and OK. And so it shows the closing price here. That's what I've, um, what the code said. So let me just go ahead and delete that real quick. But that shows you how to uh, paste it in directly as the code. Um, one more thing I wanted to do for anyone that's receiving a code file for these custom scans or for sidebar watch lists or results columns like these right here. Um, so for a custom scan, uh, if you have the code uh, in text form, all you need to do is go up here to, you can delete all these um, filters that are on there that you don't need and click Add Study Filter in your Stock Hacker and Scan tab. Take this and run it down to Custom. Uh, move over to Think Script Editor and just paste in whatever code you need there. And then that will get pulled in here and uh, that will run the custom study, whatever, you've, whatever someone has shared with you or whatever you've bought. You can just paste in the code directly here, click OK, and that will be applied. Um, if you have code for a watch list column, let me um, switch back to my text edit here. And um, I'll open this up. This is a, a watch list column. And so what I'll do is go here and um, to paste in code into a watch list column, uh, Thinkorswim provides custom columns that you can uh, set to whatever kind of uh, code that you want. And so I've named all mine different things here. I've already customized a lot of them. But um, so I'll, I've already got this five minute open right here. And I'll go ahead and, uh, and edit that. But what you would do is you would look up custom. And usually it'll say custom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can just select one of those, add it over here, and click OK. And then it'll show up in your list here as one of these columns. And then you go in and click right click and select edit formula. And then there you can paste in any code that uh, you've been provided for that custom column co uh, uh, code. And uh, just click apply and OK. And um, that will get applied here and it'll start working and showing up with the custom quote. Um, uh, as well, you can do the same thing over here. You just hit uh, right click. Click Customize, type in Custom to find your custom quote uh, columns that you can customize. Double click one to add it over here, click OK, and then you can um, select Edit Formula, paste in the code, and click OK, and it'll start showing up uh, with the, uh, the code that um, you've been provided. So that's how to, you know, how to install these different uh, types of code. There's several different ways to, to do these things. Um, the scans and the indicators can all be imported using this setup open shared item thing that uh, Thinkorswim provides. Uh, the watch list columns, you have to go to customize, then go to custom and find the ones that say custom one, two, three, four, five, which I've, I've renamed here. Um, add that to the list click OK, then go back to it and click um, Edit Formula, right click and select Edit Formula, and then paste in that code, click OK, and it'll show up here as a custom quote column that then you can use with your trading. 
So I hope that kind of explains those different methods to you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, but hopefully this clears up some confusion for some people. All right, I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.